guys welcome back to what was mommy thinking this is crystal and I'm so glad that you're here with us today um, it is my new favorite type of video to do for you guys it is cash envelope stuffing day so for anyone that's new um, my husband gets paid every two weeks and I get paid once a month and we have certain envelopes that we stuff with each paycheck so some of the envelopes that I stuffed today are going to be ones that are, that will get stuffed again in two weeks, but because we're transitioning from keeping our sinking funds in a savings account to actually putting them in envelopes here at the house, I've got some money to put into them that was from the first time that we saved in them, um, and then the, we'll start again on that rotation two weeks from now, and then they'll get stuffed every four weeks. So with that being said, this is a um, Happy Planner um, envelope that came with the budget extension pack. And it is what I have my cash in for today. So I'm going to take that out and we're going to get it kind of um, organized over here to the side. So give me just a second to get that done. Do the hundreds. Ooh. All right. Yes, I'm one of those people. I need it faced the right way. I'll do 50s. Lots and lots of 20s. Like I said, I've got some envelopes that I am back stuffing. Um, and a lot of these we just started not too long ago. So they'll be getting stuffed um, only for the second time, either this payday or next payday. I'm going to move these over and do one at a time. There's my fives. And there's my ones. Okay, so the first envelope that we're gonna, or first group of envelopes we're gonna do is we're gonna do the ones that are sort of back stuffed, the ones that I took the first stuffing out of savings. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in now so that two weeks from now when you see me stuff them again, then that'll be on the regular schedule. All right, most of those are in this book here. So the first one's gonna be vacation, which is right here. I'm going to go ahead and take that out, and there should be $250, so we're going to grab two 100s and a 50, and again, because I am back stuffing, I don't have to write anything, this is just me catching the envelope up. Alright, the next up one that we're going to do is family pictures, it is here, and again, the amount is already written. It's $40, so we're going to grab two 20s and throw that in. Then the next one is that side of beef envelope. I've gotten some interesting comments about this one, but um, it should have $200 in it, so we'll grab one $200 bills. Does this bother anybody else? I don't know. There we go. If you hear my sweet little boys in the background, well, not so little boys, um, we're getting ready to watch a bunch of football. It's Saturday, y'all. Um, Amazon is another one that's back stuffed. Our monthly allotment for this is only $20. So I'm going to grab a 20 and throw that in super quick. And then our vehicle tags. We have two vehicles, and this includes our tags and our inspections and that gets $20 and that'll go back in and then the last one that I have to back stuff is actually in this booklet um, these are more my cash envelopes and the ones that we use pretty much weekly um, or you know more often than these so it's cosmetics which I know is this one here and we're gonna go in and we're gonna put $70 in this. So that's going to get a 50 and a 20. $70. You guys, so I tried something new this week. I tried my hand at making clear envelopes that fit the um, Skinny Classic. That one has my oldest son, this is my middle son, and this is my youngest son. And I put their um, allowance in it and you can see I kind of put a post-it note on it to remind myself this is two weeks worth of allowance and then he did a job off of our job board for five dollars 
But let me know what you guys think of the clear envelopes. I'm not really sure how I feel about them. Um, it's something new. So, anywho. Alright, that is everything for the back stuffing. Excuse my squeaky chair. Now we're going to go ahead and stuff the cash envelopes that would normally be stuffed on this pay date um, every four weeks. And as I'm stuffing them, I'm going to back stuff them for the first time that they were stuffed and for today. And I'm so sorry if that's a little bit of, uh, um, confusing for you guys. I don't mean it to be, I promise. What happened is, again, we were saving it in our savings account, and this will be the first time actually pulling money out of the bank, so I needed to pull the entire sinking fund out of the bank, which meant half of it came from the paycheck, the other half came from savings. So let's go ahead and start with that. We're going to start with Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day should have $40 in it from October the 2nd, and then we're going to add today's. For the third, and I'm going to put the pay date of the 13th just so that I can keep it straight. And we should have a total of $80 in it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those 420s. Goodness, that's just sliding everywhere like a slip and slide. And we're going to do 20, 40, 60, and 80. And we're going to put that 80 in Valentine's Day. It's not every woman in this world who's lucky enough to have four valentines without being called some pretty colorful names, is it? Alright, the next one that we're going to stuff is Easter. Easter should have $30 from the first go around, and then we're going to add another $30 from $11.13. $30 makes this a $60 balance. So I'm going to go ahead and grab two 20s and two 10s. And that should give us our $60. 20, 40, 50, 60. Perfect. Guys, I'm not guaranteeing that there's going to be cash left over or that I didn't mess this up totally. Mother's Day and Father's Day both get the same amount. It's all about equality, right, ladies and gentlemen? Alright, so $45 from the first month, and then we're going to write in $11.13 and add another $45, and there should be a total of $90. So I'm going to grab four 20s and two fives. Day. It's going to be a total of $90. Now that my kids are a little bit older, it's really cool to see what they go out and pick out for um, their dad and their grandpa and my mom. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, and 90. They have such beautiful hearts. Okay, next one is going to be 4th of July. 4th of July going to get an additional $20 for a total of $40. Oh goodness, I really missed celebrating 4th of July in our traditional way and going and seeing the fireworks and doing the picnic stuff. So 20 and 40. I'm going to throw that in. Halloween. Halloween is going to get $30. We did spend the Halloween, and I forgot to write that in here, so let me go ahead and write 1031, a withdrawal of 30 for a balance of zero. And then we're going to go ahead and write in 1113 for a deposit of 30. And the balance in this one should just be 30. So we're going to grab a 20 and a 10. So 20, 30. is going to be Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving is actually in my kind of weekly one right now because we're getting ready to have Thanksgiving, 
So I took my Halloween envelope out of here after we used it and put my Thanksgiving envelope in. This is another one, of course, that's going to be back stuffed. So we'll do 1113. We're going to add in another $40, and that's going to give us a total of $80 to buy all the things that we need for Thanksgiving dinner. And um, so when we do the next stuffing for the Thanksgiving envelope, it'll be in December. It'll be completely wiped out. It'll be at a zero balance, and it'll be back in the, the sinking fund booklet instead of the cash envelope. All right, so we've got 20, 40, 60, 80. I hope you guys are planning a very, very calm and uh, comforting Thanksgiving this year. I know COVID has really challenged everything for everyone. Um, the next envelope I'm going to do, sorry about that, guys. It's actually this pet envelope. Um, I told you the last video, we are putting in extra money into this envelope because of the holidays coming up and travel plans that we have, which, guys, I'm not even sure if that's going to happen. You know, COVID kind of has uh, taken a, an upward tick very, very sadly, and um, I'm not sure how traveling is going to be, but for right now, we're going to keep planning for this and keep going in that direction. So I should have $275. I just added my 200 that I've deposited. So two, one, two, fifty, seventy-five. And we'll put that into the pets envelope. And then the cosmetics envelope actually does get stuffed this paycheck. I was wrong earlier. Y'all bear with me because this is this is new. I've been doing it electronically in a in a savings account for the last couple of months and that was new, so changing this soon. I've got to keep realistic expectations of myself. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take another 50 and another 20, and that should give us $140. So we've got 50, 100, 20, and 40. I hope you all have a very, very wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope that everyone in your family is um, healthy and happy and if you can't be together then I hope that you guys can virtually see each other and be grateful that maybe by this time next year we'll all be back together doing what we love to do which is being with each other. So the last thing that we're going to add in um, is my Christmas challenge money. So this time around, sorry guys, I gotta grab my planner. This time around for the Christmas challenge, I am doing the numbers 32 and 48. So on my little Christmas challenge sheet, I screwed up last time because I was supposed to color 42, but I colored 48. So this week I'll color in these two, but the right amount of money is actually in the envelope. So let's go ahead and grab 32 and 48. That's a total of $80. We're going to do three 20s, 110, 15, and five ones. Well, maybe we're not because I don't have that many. 20, 40. I messed up, guys. I told you I was going to mess this up. That's okay. I'm not overly worried about it. It's supposed to be $80. I'm going to get into my Christmas challenge envelope since this is the last one that we're supposed to be stuffing. I'm going to take out a 20 and I'm going to put in a 100. So that'll be my $80. And if I look at my sheet here, I should be able to say 48 and 32. And for the math portion of it, four hundred and forty-three plus forty-eight is going to be four ninety-one. And then we're going to add thirty-two. Should give us five hundred and twenty-three dollars. Alright, so let's count this really quick. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 50, 5, 5, 20, 5, 21, 5, 22, 5, 23. So we've got the right amount. I just messed it up. Sorry about that, guys. I appreciate you guys so much being patient with me as I figure all of this out and go down this little journey. Alright, so I know that there's money left over and I think I know where it goes. We had um, taken some money out of a birthday account that we had. Um, taken some money out of a birthday account that we had and I think that we were supposed to put some of it back this week and I'm pretty sure that's where this money goes. 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 36, 77, 78, 8, 79, 80, 81, 82. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's where this goes. So I'm going to set that aside and I'll figure all of that out off camera. You guys definitely don't want to watch my brain uh, create smoke that rolls right out my ears. And I want to thank you guys so much for having patience and sticking with me through this video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your Saturday and a wonderful rest to your weekend. And I'm going to see you guys real soon in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.